Hey, what's up? This is Werner. Thank you so much for checking this out. This is your September market update. And in today's update, I want to tell you a little bit about what it's like to be a buyer in today's market, a little bit about what it's like to be a seller in today's market. We're going to talk a little bit about the foreclosure forbearance program that's going on, as well as what is going to happen in the future. At least I think. So let's jump into it. So let's talk about what it's like to be a buyer in today's market. So first things first, your affordability. What's that based on? Interest rates. So interest rates right now, 30 year mortgage, you can get around a 2.75 to 2.85, depending upon your qualifications. Obviously the best qualifications get you a lower rate. That is excellent. So those are really, really low in terms of historical uh, 30 year mortgage rates. Uh, and if you're looking to buy, now's a great time to get pre-qualified and start that process to lock down uh, a lo really low rate. Homes are still going over asking price, but not like they were seven or eight months ago where they were going, you know, 20 and 25% over asking price. Today, they are going, you know, a reasonable amount over list price. So we're anywhere between five and 10% can probably be expected. There's still a lot of competition out there. So finding a good realtor that's able to navigate the process and get you into escrow on a home that you love is very important. Now let's talk about selling your home. If you're selling your home, I would still say now is a very good time. There's still a lot of demand on the market for new homes. While I'm starting to see a few more homes hit the market than I did in the last six months, there's still a shortage. So there's gonna be a buyer for your house. There's probably gonna be a multiple offer situation and you're gonna get, like I said before, about five to 10% over your reasonable list price. About six months ago, we were seeing multiple offers within three or four days. Now it's taking just a little bit longer as there are a little bit more homes on the market. Foreclosures and evictions, while these moratoriums are starting to end, and some might predict that a ton more homes are going to enter the market, I am a little bit more pessimistic about that. I do think a lot of people will come forward with their payments. I think a lot of landlords will continue to keep their rentals. And I think uh, some properties will enter the, prop uh, enter the market, but not all. So I do think we'll see a little uptick in uh, available properties, but I don't think it's going to change drastically the current environment that we're in. So going forward, like I mentioned a couple videos ago, I think the biggest catalyst is going to be interest rates. When interest rates are really low, the economy is weak, the Fed drops the interest rates, the mortgage uh, lenders drop their interest rates to produce more borrowing of money. Um, I think when that starts to shift and the Fed starts to increase their rates, uh, interest rates start to rise from lenders, that will slow down the uh, onslaught, if you will, of buyers going to get mortgages meaning the demand will be a little bit less. So I think keep your eye on that if you're interested in what direction the, uh, the economy and most importantly, the housing market will be going. I think interest rates is the key. So thank you so much for checking this out. If you have any questions at all, if you need any help, please give me a call 858-847-5500 or email me at homesbydixon at gmail.com. You can find me on social media, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Appreciate you watching this. Thanks.